I'm not a songwriter or producer or filmmaker. I'm just James. I'm just James. I believe the only reason we get ideas is so we can execute the idea. That's the next indie banger. You know what I mean? That's the speed of the red. Like NWA stuff. The Bullets is the moniker that I make music under, so The Bullets is me. I've always been called The Bullets, you know, since I was a kid, because I used to love that Steve McQueen movie, Bullet. So I was obsessed with that film and its soundtrack. <laughs> Lalo Schifrin done the score. But the first, the first um, song on guitar I learned was, was those, two, those three chords, like a D minor 7, an A minor, and an E minor. And I just used to play. And, I, and I'll just make a hundred million songs around those, those chords and then I'll, I'll reverse it. There's your loop. Okay, that's the kid, that's one. Today I've been recording a song for a, a short film um, that I'm shooting called um, A Lucid Rush. I got into making music because I was always um, shooting film of some sort. But I want to put the, the song behind it. I suppose how I operate as a producer, the, you know, there's that film saying, shoot from the hip. You know, I create from the hip. If I have an idea, I feel compelled to shoot it. I don't hear music, I see it. I've always had a passion for um, film as much as I have for music. I've always done both of them simultaneously. Been through the storm. Now the thing is, it's improvisation to be. But if you throw yourself in the moment, the best way to prove a lie it's a belief yourself. Okay, roll camera. Action. Quoi? Tu te rends compte de ce que t'as fait? Tout devait aller comme sur des roulettes. Tu m'avais dit que tout se passerait bien. The process of directing and the process of making music for me are exactly the same. The thing is just all expression. I find them the same thing. The placement of the camera is the same way as you'd approach the placement of an instrument. There's a world inside your rainbow. That's from an armed robbery. Mm. We have to. Dun, 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 dun. Scratch your side, buddy. What's up, James? You good, brother? How you doing? I'm cool. Science is a dope, I think two-time Grammy Award winner from overseas. But he's just a really great guy and fun to be around. Like I have a particular approach to playing guitar. He has a particular approach to playing keys. So I just like surrounding myself with great, with great musicians. The song I'm doing today is called A Lucid Rush, but the film I see, it's all Hindi. I don't hear a word of English. And I see like a female assassin dressed in all black with a gun and the words above the poster. You don't know what the words are because I don't speak that language, but it just looks beautiful and it's, I just, I see that and then I hear this melancholy song to it. So then I have to go and create that moment. Oh, I'm recording right here. Something on top of that. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> My role in this session is basically working with James. We got a 
really good relationship and uh, we've been working together for probably like about two years. So he, wherever he want to explore, you know, I'm the guy to help him just kind of like get to that place. The reason why it was important for science to be involved is, is because science thinks as cinematic as I do. Like, I'm, I'm not like a person who, who could just go in with, with anyone. I have to really be excited by that artist. <laughs> Working with James, you know, you gotta be prepared for anything and everything. But James is, he's a character, so you just gotta be ready. And then once you're ready, then you get past that and then you can make some music. <laughs> James. What's cracking? I just been notified I ate your food. Oh, that's all right. You okay? Come on, science, man. I slept with Yentl. <laughs> he had to bring my ex into it. <laughs> There's nothing more important than the space and the environment that I'm creating in. I think it, it's really important for me to feel absolutely at home. Take for instance today, there are a lot of people outside. I'm all of my friends or people that I'll see on a day-to-day -day basis and I'll be weaving in and out and making music and I love the involvement of other people. And you know, if you watch Woodstock, and you'll see like people, like musicians in the crowd making songs and writing songs around campfire. And, uh, I suppose I'm one of those people. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Yeah, we're going to so this song's from an EP that myself and Jay Electronica are putting out. The song's called Run and Hide. One of my like, biggest influences is Ennio Morricone, man. Like, he would use, like, voice, percussion. <laughs> So I'm influenced by a lot of them, um, a lot of film composers, as well as, as well as artists, like J Electronica. That's where I, I draw my influences from. Put them all in a cauldron, and out pops James.